Hello, first graders. It is so exciting to be back again today. Today we are working on writing. More importantly, the type of writing that we're working on is opinion writing. You will remember back uh, when we were going to school, we were just finishing up informative writing where you were writing about your animals, um, I think we wrote about a gorilla, a hippo, all sorts of animals, and we were giving information called informative writing. At the beginning of the school year, we also did narrative writing, which were stories. Now we're going to go into opinion writing. But first, I want to start with a little story. The other day, I had to go to the doctor. And when I went to the doctor, um, he said that he wanted to make sure that I was okay. So he started with my ears. So he took the little tool that he does and he looked into my ears and then he looked into this ear and he said, oh, very good. And he checked it off. But he didn't stop there. So then he said, okay, I want to look into your eye and make sure that your eye is okay and your eye is healthy. So I stood really still and he took his little light and, sh and shone the light into my eye. And he's like, oh, all right, check. That's very good. And then he didn't stop there. So then he went to my knees. And I don't know if you've ever been to the doctor. When they take that, it's almost like a little hammer. And they pop your knee and your knee springs up. Well, that's exactly what he did with my knee. And he said, oh, you're very healthy. Your knee is very healthy. So check. And then he had one more thing that he wanted to do. So he said, open your mouth really wide. And I opened my mouth wide. And he looked and put a tongue depressor down inside my, my mouth onto my tongue. And he looked in there. And then he's like, hmm, okay, check. You're very healthy. So when we are writing, we are going to be just like doctors. We're like mini doctors. We have to take our writing and we have to have a checklist to make sure that we are doing everything that we are supposed to be doing to create a writing piece. So let's go over here and look at our writing checklist before we talk about what type of writing that we are going to do. Read with me if you would like to. It says writing, and this stands for the word check. Writing checklist. So let's look at all of the things that we as little mini writing doctors are going to look at in our writing. So the very first thing that we need to check is our finger spacing. So we need to put our finger in between our words and make sure that we have a nice finger space so it separates our words. The second check that we need to do as our writing mini doctors is word wall. Now I know that you are not in our classroom and you don't have our big word wall, but in your house you have tons of things that have words on them. You have books, you have a kitchen full of ingredients and supplies that have words on them. Um, you can even utilize your parents. Maybe you could ask them how to spell a word and you could create your own word while at home. But we always want to utilize words that are already written for us, um, whether they're in magazines, books, dictionaries, wherever. So word wall, check. The next thing that we want to look for as our writing mini doctors is did we put a capital letter at the beginning of our sentence? And our next check did we use punctuation at the end of the sentence? We were working really hard on putting our periods at the end of sentences. And today we're going to talk about an exclamation mark too that we're going to use at the end of sentences. And our last check as our mini writing doctor is did we ask someone or get help spelling tricky words? We have our high frequency words that we have mastered, but sometimes we come across something that we want to write and we don't know how to spell it. Call that a tricky word. You can ask your parents for help in spelling tricky words, and then you could write the word down and put it on your word wall. That way you will always have access to how to spell that word. So oh, opinion writing. I wonder what opinion writing means. I wrote what it means right here. And I want you to read along with me. Opinion writing means what do you believe? For example, I love bananas. Bananas are delicious. Does everyone love bananas? 
So since everyone does not like bananas, it would be my opinion or my belief that bananas are good. Opinion is when you believe something is good or when you believe that you like something. What I would like you to do right now is to think of something maybe in your house that you really, really like. I want you to go get it and then look at it and decide now, is it my opinion? Is it my opinion that bananas are delicious or is it a fact? And we talked about facts when we were doing informational writing. So is it your belief? Maybe not everyone likes bananas. Is it your opinion that bananas are good? Go find your object and state your opinion and I'll meet you back here. We are going to now take everything that we just talked about. So we talked about being mini doctors and we talked about all the things that are on that checklist. And then we talked about what is really an opinion. And we decided that an opinion was a belief. It's something that you believe in. Now we are going to write our own opinion writing piece. And there are three parts of this writing piece and we're going to go over each writing piece. And we're gonna start with our topic sentence. Our topic sentence is something that we really, really believe in. I have something that I really believe in and this is starting out with my favorite. So it's going to be something that I really enjoy. It's going to be my favorite something. Do you guys know what my favorite thing to do is? And I think you do. Um, Mrs. Garcia's class, you are in my classroom all the time. So I know that you've seen it up on the wall. And there's a picture of me. And in that picture, I am wearing something. Well, something that I really enjoy doing is I love to go hiking. And when I hike, I wear this big backpack because when I go hiking, I go hiking for long, long periods of time, it's like days. I don't take a shower either. But I need a big backpack, backpack to carry all of my things. So your topic sentence is something that you really believe in. It's something that is your absolute favorite thing to do. And thinking of all of you, I know that many of you like to play soccer. I know that um, some of you love to draw. Um, you love to play outside. I know Ricky loves to play video games and Tylon too. There's so many favorite things for all of you. I'm going to say that my favorite sport is hiking. And we're going to keep this writing piece very simple. So we're just going to have our three parts here. And I want to go back to our checklist and you'll see a picture of that checklist. But in that checklist, the first thing I need to check for is my finger spacing. I feel very confident about my finger spacing. I need to look at any of my word walls and, and ask myself, did I use word wall support to spell? Um, I need to check if I had a capital letter and punctuation at the end. And then I needed to see if there were any tricky words in here. And there was a tricky word. So hiking, we had an ing at the end. So this was a tricky word because I had to take away my e and add my ing. I asked for support in all of my tricky words. Now I'm gonna go to some details. I've said what my favorite sport is. I've said what my belief is. Now I need to say, well, why do I like this so much? Well, I like it because I have this nice backpack that I get to put things in. My detail sentence is going to say that I like my Osprey, and that's a type of backpack. So that's the type of backpack that I have, backpack. I started with a capital letter. I used word walls if I had them. 
I have nice finger spacing. I have punctuation at the end. And I looked for tricky words. And guess what? I have another tricky word. I have what we call a compound word, backpack. If I separated these two words, it's two individual words. We have the word back and we have the word pack. When I push them together, it makes a compound word. Now I'm going to go to my third and my final sentence. And this is going to be the exclamation of it. This is going to be a why I believe in this so much. And I have to show you a piece of equipment that I have. I have something called trekking poles. And these trekking poles I use when I'm out hiking because and if you can see here at the bottom, and I'll get a close um, picture of it for you, this helps me to get footing when I'm going over boulders or big rocks. And actually, it really helps me on footing too when I'm in steep places, so that way I don't fall. So I like it when I'm on the trail and I have my trekking poles and I have them on both sides of me. And it is great when I can hike through really tricky places. So I'm gonna put that as my third sentence. All right, so I'm gonna start with my capital letter. So I'm going to say, it is great when I use my trekking poles. And remember as we read, when we were in class, we would be writing and then we would read it as we write it. So it is great when I use my trekking. This is gonna be one of those tricky words. Trekking is not a word that we see every day. So remember when we were doing our mini writing doctors, we have to maybe ask for support with words like that. I never want to be afraid of writing a word because I don't know how to spell it. So I would just do the best I could to spell it or I could ask for help. So my trekking poles to go over rocks. I think I'm going to add boulders too, and boulders. And then I'm going to do my little um, mini doctor writing check. The first thing I'm going to do is look at my finger spacing and I have nice finger spacing. I'm going to look at any word wall that I have to make sure that I've utilized the word wall in my spelling and I have. I started with a capital letter. I also ended with a period so I did my punctuation and then I um, did a spelling check for tricky words and trekking was my tricky word. I actually had to go look up to make sure that I spelled trekking correctly for you. I want to use resources. We could use our parents. We could use the internet. Um, we could also ask Alexa. Maybe one of these lessons I'll show you how to do that if you have an Alexa. What I want to go do now is I want us to read this together. So we're going to start from the beginning. My favorite sport is hiking. I like my Osprey backpack. It is great when I use my trekking poles to go over rocks and boulders. And there is one thing that I wanted to add to this. This last part of your opinion writing is called an exclamation. It's to get people super excited about what you believe in. So I am going to add an exclamation mark instead of a period. That way I'm like, this is super exciting. I want everyone else to believe what I believe. There are three modifications that you could do uh, with your student, and I'm going to list them here. It is also in your packet, and I'll take a picture of that so you have that in this uh, YouTube video. What you could do with the writing piece, um, you could have your child verbally or orally answer the question. So what is their favorite um, sport or thing to do and then have them verbally say them to you. We really want to get them to practice writing. So first graders, I want you to write, 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 um, but also uh, verbal or orally will work as well. And then what you also could do is as your student 
or as your child says this to you, maybe you could write it down for them and then they could take it and you could do the first, the third thing, allow your child to copy the answers onto the page. Putting in um, accommodations and modifications in place for your child so they don't see this and go, I can't do this. So we're going to help them and scaffold it every step of the way for them. I hope you guys had a great time watching me do this writing piece, and I cannot wait to see you next week. This is the last lesson for this week. We had math, reading, writing. I hope that you did all three lessons and put it on your portfolio. Those of you that did all three lessons, put it on your portfolio and did your Imagine Learning and Imagine Math Minutes, I will be coming to your house to drop off an incredible prize from our prize box. So I can't wait to see you. Bye.